everybody, welcome back. You're watching The Hunt. I am your host, Trish Hunt. I'm really excited to introduce my next guest to you today. We've been talking about uh, you don't have to just to be one thing in life, um, and sometimes when you adapt, um, it can lead to really positive and good things. So with that, let me introduce you to Naren Ariel. He is the CEO and publisher of Amplify Publishing Group. Naren, welcome. Thank you, great to be here. Thank you, thanks for being here with us. So there's so many things that I could talk to you about today that I think the audience would just um, adore. I mean, you, um, you're really a lawyer. I, I, I don't like to tell people that. Okay. Uh, former, <laughs> former lawyer. Former lawyer, you're officially trained, yes, yes. right, as a lawyer. And then um, I know you've done some speaking and you were advising to tech companies as well. That's and right. And then landed in the world of publishing. That's right. And you're actually an author of yourself. I am, yeah. I am. It was an interesting transition from lawyer to publisher. Uh, my daughter wanted a children's book, and so we uh, put together a children's book for her, and it didn't you know, initially start off as a business opportunity, but uh, learned some things, enjoyed it, yeah. and I went all in in the world of books. So what did, did she write the book or did you write the book for her? No, uh, me and my wife wrote a book for her. Oh. It was a children's book. Okay. And, uh, the you things know, we do for our children. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we could do an entire show just on that. No kidding, right. Um, and so uh, it hit the market and it, um, it just, it, it worked and we had some success. So we took mm -hmm. that simple book and did uh, similar titles. Um, it was for a university. So okay. we did other books for other universities and professional sports teams. And uh, that's what I call, um, that's exactly how I entered the world of publishing. And so, okay, so you enter in as an author. That's right. And then usually in life, these things kind of happen where you're, you get into something and you see the opportunities or the gaps and yeah. then you say, okay, I can do that or I can fill that. Is that what happened to you? It's exactly what happened. And so mm -hmm. we learned the world of publishing, mm -hmm. book production, book marketing, book distribution, and had some success. And then other people started coming to us and asked if we could help them with their projects. And so this was almost 20 years ago, and we started uh, this thing that's now known as hybrid publishing. We were one of the pioneers in this little area of publishing. So what is that? Can you explain that to, yeah. to me and the audience? Yeah, absolutely. So hybrid publishing occupies the space between traditional publishing on one hand and self-publishing on the other. Okay. And so um, the business model is uh, a little more entrepreneurial, and the authors uh, contribute to the production, uh, marketing and distribution, but in exchange, we produce a first-class product and get to market soon and give our clients the big New York house experience. Gosh, that's fantastic because yeah. it is overwhelming and daunting, you know, as, you know, if you think about it, in this day and age with the internet, have you found that just, I mean, anybody can be a writer, right? Yeah. There's blogs, there's sure. YouTube and you know, all these other platforms where people can just go out and, and write. So how has the industry changed from the time you first published to now? Yeah, great question. And so there's so many options available to authors now, whereas 20 years ago, you would think, you know, there's traditional publishing, try to get an agent, try to get a deal with a big house, or you could self-publish, um, you know, on your own. Mm -hmm. And so the options were really limited. And so um, in that time, what's happened is there are a lot of great options, a lot of great ways to get content into the marketplace that just didn't exist before. And hybrid publishing is, is an example of that. Yeah. And then, of course, ebooks came along, and now right. audiobooks have come along. So um, content uh, can see the light of day, particularly good content, mm -hmm. and we help them uh, get to market in a, in a fast, efficient, and high quality way. And you focus on, I think, different genres and different umbrellas of your company, right? Yeah, that's um, right. Um, any in particular, any genre that you want to focus in on? Um, yeah, yeah. So for our Amplify imprint, we focus on business and thought leadership books. Excellent. So we work with uh, industry experts, whatever the industry may be. Um, people that have something important to say, and these folks are typically keynote speakers or uh, CEOs or consultants. Um, that's where we find uh, most of our work these days and what I particularly enjoy as a business mm -hmm. person. So what does it take, again, because yeah. with the internet, really sure. anybody can you know, go down this path, right? But there are levels of success. What would you say um, contributes to somebody being, being like on the New York Times bestseller list? Yeah, so I think it starts, people think that you write and then you market. And so what I encourage our clients and authors to do is really think about the marketing as you're writing. Um, okay. Understand who your target market is okay. um, and write to that target market. So stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Got it. Right? And so, you know, oftentimes I'll hear somebody say, I've got this amazing idea, everyone's going to love it. 
And that's when I sort of roll my eyes and say, great, you don't understand your target market, and that means right. possibly no one's going to love it. And are people out and about doing book tours these days, or what's happened yeah. since COVID, maybe yeah. in the last year? So obviously that took a hit for about two years, but yeah. I'm, I'm happy to report that book tours and events are back. And that just makes me happy as a publisher. Yeah, absolutely. Because I imagine that is a huge piece of the overall success, right? Because the audience, the reader, wants to connect with the author. Yeah, that's right. And so authors must be engaged mm -hmm. in the marketing of their book. That's not one thing that you can outsource to a publishing house or a PR firm. Yep. Um, because you're the thought leader. Yep. Uh, the audience wants to hear from you. Um, but you know there are best practices, yep. and we try to help our authors through all the best practices when it comes to launching a book. Gosh, there's so much to learn, so much to, to know, you know, what goes on behind the scenes. So we just have about another minute or so, but can you tell us what is in the future of publishing? Well, I think that uh, um, audiobooks are increasing in popularity. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. physical, yeah. physical books are actually increasing as well. Um, People are surprised Which, when they hear that. I'm so glad to hear that because yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed with hardcover books, and yeah. we have a library at home full of you know books, and yeah, yeah so it's good news. And eBooks have actually plateaued, so that's what the next really that's right. Okay. That's what the next um, two or three years looks like, and then beyond that, who knows? That's really interesting. I, there's got to be a psychology behind the reason for that. People love the physical books. The physical book, really yeah, do. and dog earring and highlighting and signing. Yeah. and signing, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. So, how can if somebody's interested in working with Amplify or Mascot, what is the best way that they can reach you? Sure. Uh, if you go to the website, which is AmplifyPublishing.com, okay, or you can send me an email. Uh, wow. Yeah, personal. Wow. Uh, Naren, N-A-R-E-N at AmplifyPublishing.com. All right, you guys, you, you heard it there, and we just showed some of some of the books that you just did um, recently. Um, do you have a favorite? Uh, you know, I can't uh, be on video <laughs> talking about my favorite book, but I've got I've got several. You get a lot of phone calls probably. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, after that, and any other plans for you to publish again? Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing another book, of course, about the publishing industry. What I know. Stay in your lane, isn't that what we said? Stay in your lane, is that the name of it? No, 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 but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay in my lane. <laughs> I'm going to talk publishing. And what about your wife? Does she write as well? No, still? she doesn't. She no, doesn't. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's uh, uh, staying in her lane. Staying in her lane. That's right. And your daughter, was she grateful with the book Absolutely. that you guys? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. All right. She's an adult now, so um, um, well, good it's for funny her. how that happens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, it goes by like so incredibly fast. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. It's so great to see you. Um, just such a great um, industry and so much to, to learn more about it. So hopefully you'll come back and well, join us. Thank you. Awesome. All right, you guys, you've been watching The Hunt. Big thanks to all of my guests today. Um, big thanks to the crew here. And obviously a big thanks to all of you. I'm Trish. See you next time.